This is Varsha's Education Academy. In this session, we are going to see the subject of control system. See, in control system, already I have covered all the topics related in TRB syllabus as well as all TR, all government competitive examinations. We have completed all the topics except block diagram reduction as well as Mason gain formula. That is signal flow graph reduction. See, in this session, I am going to cover the rules of block diagram reduction. Right. See, this session is very, very important session. Please listen carefully. Then only you can solve this kind of problems. Very easily. Even within a second, you can complete the problems. See, the first rule. When two blocks are connected in series. See, the name of the first rule is in series. That is, when two blocks are connected in the cascaded form. Cascade is nothing but two blocks are connected in series. If two blocks are connected in series, we have to multiply the gain of these two blocks. See, the gain of the first block is G1 and the gain of the second block is G2. So, we have to multiply these two gains. So, we have to replace these two blocks which are connected in cascade with a single block. The block, the gain of this block is the multiplication of these two blocks. So, G1, G2. We have to replace this block with these two blocks. See our second rule, when two blocks are connected in a parallel form, when two blocks are connected in a parallel form and it is connected with the summer and it is connected with the summer. See, here G1 is in the forward path and one more forward path with the gain of G2. So G1, see here plus sign is there, right? So we have to add these two blocks. If it is a ne negative sign over there, you have to subtract G1 minus G2. You have to write it as G1 minus G2 in the in this block. See here they have given two plus signs, right? So G1 plus G2. So when two blocks are in parallel, how we can say whether these two blocks are in parallel or in a feedback path? See the two arrow marks are facing in the same direction, right? So these two blocks are assumed in the forwarded path. These two parts are assumed, assumed as the forward parts. See the third rule. That is. See the third rule. Take off point ahead. We are going to move this take off point. After this block. We are going to move this take off point. See this point is said to be the take off point. See and it is represented by the green point right. So this take off point is. How to be moved after the block. See, here I am going to move this takeoff point after this block. While connecting it after the block, we have to divide the gain, which is the block we are crossing. Right? So, see the gain of this block is G, right? So, I have divided it with that block, 1 by G. In the takeoff point, in the block the side, after the block move on bodhu, we have to divide the gain of that particular block. So 1 by G. See here, take off point before the block. See the fourth rule that is take off point before the block. Already block, already the take off point is at after the block, right? Now I am going to shift this take off point before the block. See if we are shifting the point after the block in the sense, we have to divide that block. If you are shifting the point before the block in the sense, we have to multiply that block. So, the same block will be repeated to again. See the rule number 5. That is moving the summing point after the block. See here, there is a summing point, right? This circle is said to be the summing point. See, we are having plus signs, right? So, this component is said to be the summing point And we are going to shift this summing point after the block. So, while shifting the summing point after the block, we have to multiply that block. If you are shifting the takeoff point after the block, you have to divide that block. See here, it is vice versa for the summing point. If you are shifting the summing point after the block, you have to multiply that block. See this condition. If you are going to shift the summing point before the block. See, we are having summing point after the block. Now, we are going to shift the summing point before the block. At this sense, you have to divide that block. You have to divide that block. See the rule number 7. And this is a very very important rule. Eliminating the negative feedback loop. See this rule is very very important. 
do remember this condition see already i have said what is the difference between the feedback path and the parallel form see here this path is in facing in the direction of arrow is facing in the direction of forward path and see here the arrow is facing in the reverse direction see if two paths arrow marks are facing in the same direction then it is a parallel form then these two blocks are in parallel form see here one block is flowing in this direction the other block is facing in this direction so these two blocks are in feedback form when these two blocks are in feedback form see the feedback path is connected with the negative sign right see here carefully the feedback path is connected with the negative sign so it is a negative feedback loop now we are going to eliminate this negative feedback loop the formula for eliminating this negative feedback loop is forward path gain divided by 1 plus forward path gain into feedback path gain so g by 1 plus g h see the forward path gain is g and the feedback path gain is h so g by 1 plus g h so we have to replace this entire feedback negative feedback loop with the single block that is g by 1 plus g h right if we want to eliminate the positive feedback see here our feedback path is connected with a positive sign in the sense this loop is entire loop is said to be positive feedback loop now we are going to eliminate this positive feedback loop so if it is a negative feedback loop you will get positive sign in the denominator if it is a positive feedback loop you will get the negative sign in the denominator so entire loop can be replaced with a single block that is g by 1 minus gh g by 1 minus gh see in our next session we will solve some problems based on this topic block diagram reduction and some problems from using meissen gain formula thank you all thank you for watching this video if you like this video do subscribe my channel if you are having doubt do comment in the comment box thank you all